Hi, welcome to In Conversation with Zoe. If this is your first time, you are most welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for making it a date with me today. So a lot's happening, but you know, I miss the political higgy haga, thanks to my friend from Nigeria. Uh, I want to talk about something totally different, which is about staying connected to God through it all sometimes I feel like we somehow move away from the presence of God I don't know it's just maybe not the presence but then because I know there is a song that goes if your presence doesn't go with me I don't want to leave this place so we have to constantly take the presence of God with us and you can say that's my topic and also how to stay connected to God my first recommendation will be this and this is something i'm doing daily i am making it a point of duty to daily listen to a message and when i mean message i mean a word shared by a pastor pastor of a living church and when i mean living church not a condemning church or whatever and i'm not specific to this person i'm not biased no I'm, i just listen and i want to get something sometimes god uses people that you don't even like to bless you so honey if you are in an area where they say oh my church is not here my this is not here my fellowship is not here sweetheart if you want to stay connected to god if you don't want the the pleasures of the world and the circumstances the issues that we we, we daily face and go through to overwhelm us and take away that place that we have for God then you need to make it a conscious um, effort make it a conscious thing to go for fellowship it doesn't matter what church it is as long as they they are feeding you with the Word of God and if, if it's something you know in a place where there is nothing to happen you know no fellowship no church then you have to constantly constantly open the word of god you have a phone i'm sure you know mobile phones these days have bibles in them now the part b of that or you can say the number two of that because i've talked about going for fellowship don't take it for granted don't take it for granted there was a time in my life where i was going through tough times let me just leave it there and because I couldn't even go to church. Guess what? I was going for house fellowship or cell fellowship like we call it today. So um, that is one. And the second one is if that's not possible, then the B part is for you to encourage yourself in the Lord. Pick up your Bible. Pick up your study notes from the past or something. Or call up somebody that will encourage you. If you have a pastor friend, if you have a YouTube, if you have Wi-Fi data, internet, then please do that. Because it will help you stay connected to God, okay? And then another point I would like to put across to you is be mindful of the people you surround yourself with because I know, <sighs> do you know sometimes I forget that, oh my God, I'm supposed, I, I don't forget, like I have to, it takes me like a second before I hold myself because I want to react because I mean Christianity is a daily journey and sometimes I want to respond to maybe a colleague of mine at work or at school because they've been really silly but i'm like mm, it's always just rain it in because you're supposed to be better you know you're supposed to show better behavior and stuff your mama raised you well that kind of thing and i don't so and and you know why i do that because i i put jesus I just constantly remember that I'm, a, I'm an ambassador for Christ. And I believe that when you show yourself as an ambassador, I mean, the Bible says, to whom much is given, much is expected. God has given you grace. God has given you life. You're not in a war, war zone, zone or, or a place of no return. So I think, it, I mean, we should all be grateful, okay? Now, gratefulness is something... This is an aside, but gratefulness will keep you connected to God. Sometimes I, I think I just, it could be miss, it could be me just missing my dad, or just thinking of some things that have happened in the past where I thought this was what I wanted, but God obviously knew it was wrong for me, and He found a way to separate me from that thing. And today I'm super excited and happy that He did. Then I wasn't, but now I'm really happy. So. When I remember those things, 
when I think upon things that God has done in the past, it makes my heart grateful. My heart just swells up with gratitude and it keeps me connected because then I remember God's got you, Zoe. So you need to have something at the back of the corner, front of your mind, any part of your mind that some some evidence, like they, they teach us in brand advertising, that you have to evidence, you have to proof, you know, proof sell your work, proof sell yourself. So I'm telling you, you have to hold on to an evidence. No matter what's happening in life today, my third um, tip for you today is to constantly remind yourself of that one thing that God did for you that no man, no boy, no girl could have done for you. Okay? Use that as a, as a stronghold for you to stay connected to God. And number four, I was going to use this as my number three, but it didn't work out. You know how thoughts just overwhelm you sometimes. My fourth um, encouragement for commendation is that you be mindful of your association because the people you associate yourself with, they will either pull you away from God or they will bring you closer to God. Now you you may not know, but gradually you just you just know that you're not speaking in tongues anymore. You're not going for midweek services anymore. You're not worshiping. You're not playing playing you know worship songs anymore. You're not in that vibe, that Holy Ghost vibe anymore. You know what? I'm gonna retitle this: How to how to get holy ghost vibe that is it mm -hmm. slash how to stay connected to god because the holy ghost is the one that will remind you of these things okay so you need the holy spirit for whatever you're doing and if back to the association part whomever you are attached with determines what happens to you you know how I could use I can use the story of Abraham, I can use the story of Joseph, I can use the story of Esther, you know, how um she was just a nobody, but you know what? Her uncle, because he was associated with her, he was blessed as well. Okay? Remember the story? Yes. And and I can use the story of Abraham. Lot was blessed because of Abraham, even when he did wrong to Abraham because of that association by blood, God still blessed him anyways. Now you have to be careful of who you associate yourself with. Ruth's story is another great story to put across to you. Ruth, because um, Ruth and her sister-in-laws, they dissociated themselves from her and they did not carry that, they did not partake of that anointing and blessing. But then their mother-in-law, because Ruth and the mother-in-law stayed together. There was a connection. The mother-in-law ripped benefits from her because she stayed good and kind and associated to Ruth. Now, I'm saying that to say that your association matters so much. The people you call on the phone, the people you associate with on, on, on social media, the people you, you chat with at work, the people you go to lunch with, the people that even speak to you. That should also give you an inclination as to whom you're attracting, whether for platonic relationships or um, romantic relationships, whatever it is, you have to be aware of who you associate yourself with, who you commit yourself to, okay? And then finally, I will just say that this is something that whenever I feel like I'm disconnected, I just quickly start speaking in tongues now you can call it my mom my mom calls it and and i do sometimes i i i call it yab i yab myself i i kind of um i get cheeky with myself i tease myself yeah that's the you know english term for yab so i tease myself when i'm doing that because i feel like it's a fire brigade a crash program to getting connected to god but whatever you call it whatever my side part of me calls it it still works like i'm i'm on the tube I'm on the I'm on the bus, I'm in the car, I'm walking down the street, I'm in the bar, I'm in the cafe, I'm having lunch, having my bath. I just start speaking in tongues in my head. I don't have to do brata. I don't have to speak it out. I just start speaking in tongues. That is my fifth recommendation for you to stay connected to God and catching the Holy Ghost vibe. I hope this blesses you as you celebrate Christmas. I'll see you next time on In Conversation with Zoe. Bye-bye now. Mwah.